Marks here, Everything Tenere. Today we're going to talk about the top 5 low to mid range priced accessories. Uh, what I like, so to say, and uh, what I think everyone with a T7 should invest in to uh, make their Tenere 700 a better bike. So let's start off. Yeah, that's right. This is a decal kit and that's what I advise everyone to get a decal kit to save their covers, all the plastics from scratches and also from cracking. So I advise everyone that buy a decal kit for the T7 that ride a bit harder, maybe crash a bit more like I do uh, to get the 500 micron decal kit. So that's the thickness and uh, it's much thicker. It has a thicker protective layer on top of the print like a rubberized or thicker plastic this has saved my bike from a lot of scratches and damage and probably from cracked panels as well so a decal kit makes not just the bike look great which in my case i think my custom made decal kit makes my bike pop and i really love the design uh, and you can find the link up here as well for decal moto and uh, you know you can customize your decal kit as well uh, so a good thing to save your plastics save your bike from scratches or from you when you have rear luggage and so on and um, you don't get any scratches on the rear, rear fairings so here you see the decal kit from decal moto and first time you install this if you do it yourself it's quite fiddly you can see here i messed up i have a little air bubble uh, but you know this this one was the second one and it's it was much easier you practice on one then uh, you you nail it and decal moto you can customize it i put a number here up in front and on the on the side rear covers uh, you can customize it however you want. This is a customized color scheme with a desert background or a blend. That's the triple clamp engine protector that I have here. Heavy duty plastic. Also have a water pump protector here. And I will show you guys how it looks in a minute. Uh, it's not too expensive. Um, and you know it saves your your covers if you fall over tip over hit a rock or something so you don't crack your water pump housing or your clutch side or or uh, your your other side of of your engine case so that so to say so really affordable and good thing to get to protect your bike and some people they ask but how how does it handle the heat from the engine well of course your engine cases will get a bit hotter because you have sandwiched this on the outside but it's a water cold engine and I rather protect the case than you know have it not on there especially for my riding style so the tri triple clamp engine protectors you see for the water pump as well I have some scratches in them not too bad one thing when you install these especially on the clutch side or I think it was on the this side is that you have to you cannot have your bike on your side stab and remove one bolt because oil will come out uh, but if you have it straight it's no worse so you can see it protects everything good here I have some scratches yep that's the hand guards you cannot keep your OEM hand guards they don't do shit so I have the Asherbees X Factor. Of course, bark busters are as good as these. I had to customize mine because I didn't want to have the expander plug that goes into the handlebar. Uh, but as you can see from all the scratches I have here, they save the bike a lot. And this is the first thing that hits the ground normally, and what keeps all the covers free from hitting the gun, uh, the ground. So highly recommend that you get a decent pair of hand guards on a Sherby's, other brands or Barkbusters something that has a metal 
uh, you know, fastener here. And that is really sturdy. So the Asherbis X Factor. So you can see that it has taken a lot of beating. Uh, but this is sturdy. It's really sturdy mounting points. I did take the OEM uh, bar end weights. I put them in a lathe, chopped them off, drilled and threaded. So I don't need to have the, the expander bolt. I don't like that. It's not as uh, secured as with a screwed in that like you have on the OEM uh, Yamaha handlebars. And they are really looking nice. Bark busters are great as well for sure. That's nothing less than this beautiful piece here from Camel, uh, Camel ADV. So it's the Camel ADV high exhaust. And it's a good thing when you tip over because you will not bend your exhaust hanger. You will not get any wear marks on your swing arm. Uh, they come in two different uh, types. You have an enduro bend that goes up like this. And the pipe is pointed more rearwards this is pointed more upwards so it's a taste thing uh, I could see the enduro uh, band might be better uh, because you don't have an exposed exhaust pipe here but yeah that's I like it the sound is awesome and not too expensive and of course you can buy just the mid pipe and get your own muffler uh, there are some dimensions that you need to check out you know on, on ca uh, Camel ADVs website uh, to see if your other exhaust or muffler will fit um, really great great exhaust so the camel ADV high exhaust really lovely the sound is so great we will not record that right now but as you see, I did not have any bent exhaust hanger, so I had no damage to my swing arm. And with my T7 Rally tail tidy, the exhaust just misses the, my Yamaha LED Plus blinkers. So this protector here that you get with the exhaust, you don't really need it for mine, but I have it on there. My little love child, the GP Muchi Thor skid plate. I love this skid plate, it's awesome. It can take a beating, believe me. I've uh, really shown it the worst of it, <laughs> you know, everything that it can handle, and uh, it's fine. Even if you saw my latest video and I had a big stick in there in the front air vent, but that's all sorted now. I also have the protection kit which is a protection here at the rear brake cylinder. You have one for the rear ABS sensor and also for the throttle side on the other side of the engine, on the throttle body, whatever you want to call it. You have a little protection there. So the Thor skid plate from GP Muchi is great because it covers, goes all the way up. And uh, if you tip over, you have rocks and stuff like that. It protects the bike, the covers. Uh, so it's really awesome otherwise go with a skid plate that covers the most of the bike down here at the engine there's so many different ones to choose from as long as you don't have the OEM standard skid plate the Yamaha rally skid plate that's great as well but try to get the skid plate which also have a built-in link protector that will save your linkage for your rear shock and uh, yeah that's about it so the GP Muchi skid plate, you have the link arm protector underneath there. It's six mounting points, you know, up here, the screws or the bolts I haven't tightened yet, which I will have to do, and two in front and two underneath in these kind of cone washers. So you protect the screw a bit. And now you can see my air vents there, they're a bit bent if the light allows it <laughs> but it's pretty sunny out here so we'll see if we can see it from the other side and you see i have fallen over and uh, 
managed to uh, hit just the hole if you have the Yamaha OEM crash bars you can actually mount them with the GP Mucci skid plate so you have a special kit that comes with it or you order it separately I hope you guys like this video and uh, that it gives it uh, a thumbs up and you subscribe and I hope you stay safe take care and have a fun time on the trails or the gravel roads I'll see you later. Cheerios. Bye bye.